Hey, what's going on, YouTube? This is Shiny HD here, bringing you my second tutorial, and this will be on Cinema 4D on how to make an intro. This got requested by a couple people, so yeah. For this one, I'm just trying to be more enthusiastic because I was, I have to admit, I kind of sounded a little bit boring in the last one, so yeah. Hope that can change, and I'm gonna be coming up with a montage uh, when I get about 50 to 75 subs. So yeah, that's gonna be pretty sick. All right, so let's get started. And this is just uh, the one of the intros I'm doing. This is I'll show you guys a bunch of different ones. Uh, but tomorrow I'll do another commentary, and I'll do another uh, intro tutorial. But this is just one kind. So yeah. All right. Uh, so you're gonna go to MoGraph. Gonna go to Text Object. Just twist it around. Get the view. Okay. For the depth, just make it about 60%. I think that's nice. Uh, just write anything you want. Uh, um, Shiny HD, there we go. And just move that to the center. Okay, for font, uh, you're going to want to do... I'd say the best font is Impact. Let me find it. There we go, and make that bold. That's pretty nice. And then just click this to render it to see what it looks like. And yeah, it's looking not that good right now. Go to caps, fillet cap, cap, fillet cap. Spacing, just make it like five percent, five. All right. Um, click. Uh, make sure that's highlighted. Go to objects, null object. Put that under there. Make sure the arrow is pointed down, not sideways. Uh, go to MoGraph, Fracture Object, do the same thing. <coughs> Sorry. Go to Explode Segments and click on this. It should already highlight that. And go down to Random Effector. Oops. Undo. Go to Random Effector. Go down on that one and go to Parameter. Unclick, uncheck, sorry, Position. Go to Rotation. And this is what we're going to do. Okay. I'm going to. I'm gonna go to about ten. You don't have to do this. I just like for the letters to stay still, just for like the first part of the intro. And then click three hundred, two hundred, one hundred, and just drag it to whatever whatever you want. Forty five. That's good. Then put it back to zero. There we go. And then like eighty. I'd say about there, maybe. You could just put it wherever you want on the keyframe. Just depends how many times you want it to spin. 115. Zero. About 150, I'd go there. And then just end it off with zero. This isn't the best way to do it, but I'm just like showing you. And remember to uncheck this. There we go. There we go. That looks pretty nice. And then yeah. All right. Now what we're gonna do is just click on. T no, just click on nothing. Go to the square. Hold it down. Let go on plane. Just make sure the plane's under it. About 9,000 is good. There we go. And then just make... Okay, because if you render it, it'll be black there. So just make sure you don't see that. Just go like that. And then this is just to change the angle of the text. You can just play around with that. And there we go. And we're going to add a light. goes here and click that <coughs> sorry and then just drag the light and position it wherever you want I like it right in front of the text um, just drag it a bit more forward <coughs> ah that's good that's good and then there we go and then add a shadow soft 
and then render it again. Oops. And you should have that nice, nice shadow effect. And then what we're gonna want to do is bring the text a bit more down. And there we go. That looks really nice. Oh, there we go. It's a little bit slanted, so we're just gonna. There we go. That looks really nice. And then uh, to add a color, you just double click there. Double click that. Um, if you want to add two colors, if you want to add one color, just go like that and press OK. And if you want to add two, go to texture gradient. Click on gradient. Double click that, and then add two very sexy colors right there, like green and. I'm just adding something random like orange or orangey red and you could just put that in and then look sweet two colors and that's pretty much it so I'm just gonna show you the render settings just in case go to full render output 1280 by 720 pretty much the standard for YouTube if you wanna render in 720p go to manual frame I just start off at one frame because it works out for me and 201 frame oops for the save you must go to AVI movie unless you're like uh, I think for the Mac it's this one but you have to download the codex so yeah uh, YUV codex and then just save it to wherever you want and that's pretty much it alright I hope you guys enjoyed this I hope it was clear on how to make an intro and yeah, if you guys like it, just give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys later.